Hey guys, Heidi Easley here, Texas Art and Soul, and I'm going to be um, adding flowers to the Spring Owl. Now, this is not my design. This is one of the ladies in Paint Party Headquarters. Her name is Brandy, and her art studio, I wanted to make sure I told y'all, is Free Spirit Art Studio. So, go give her some likes and some love um, for sharing this with me. So, I'm going to show y'all today how to add some flowers to this little owl. So I got the base, like kind of base stuff on there. And as y'all come on, um, I'd love to know where you're from or if you're watching this on YouTube, um, let me know if you um, struggle with flowers, okay? So this area, I just painted a plain turquoise and I'm just gonna kind of add, and she actually, I just love how hers turned out. So we're gonna be adding some stuff and this was Brandy's. Hey guys, oh, I'm so glad you're here. This is Brandy's from ours in Paint Party Headquarters and um, her studio is Free Spirit Art Studio. So thank you Brandy so much for sharing that. So I'm just gonna kinda, looks like the owl's got a boob right now, a side boob. <laughs> it's inappropriate, I'm sorry. Okay, so let me kinda make it a little bigger. We're gonna add a couple. Let's just get them on here fast so it's not awkward. Get them on there fast. <laughs> hey guys, thank y'all for being here. I'm gonna add, I'm gonna actually show y'all, Brendan, you might really like this one. Um, I'm gonna show y'all how to make some flowers because sometimes we can make something um, that's pretty simple, really confusing and um, just kind of hard to, to do because we're just nervous about it because we're so, hey guys, hey Rita, hey Jessica. We're so um, nervous about like what it's gonna turn out to be. So all I'm doing is I'm taking some different color pinks and blues. Now, one of my favorite things to do is take, um, I'm really close. That's close, man. Um, I need to back up, I need to back this thing up. Okay, so one of my favorite things to do is take blues, like really pretty blues. This is a new one that, um, it may not be new. It's new to me, I hadn't seen it yet. Um, it's a turquoise blue that I got at Michael's, a Liquitex. Um, and then I'm using some just deco art, some different pinks. Um, hey guys, thank y'all for being here. If you'll please comment um, and say, you know, if you have trouble with flowers, I would love to know if you struggle with painting flowers because I'm gonna show you a couple of tricks. Um, and then this is a vivid violet and a royal fuchsia, and you can get these pretty much anywhere. Um, so I like to take those blues and mix them with the pinks, and then you get this really cool purple, okay? So um, I'm gonna take it and then just kind of basically get circles, just get some circles on there, and if you think anybody would wanna see this, if you don't mind sharing, that'd be awesome, thank you. Um, and for those of you that don't know me, my name's Heidi Easley, and I'm the founder of Texas Art and Soul and Paint Party Headquarters, and I teach women all over the world how to have a paint party business, um, or just teach paint parties for extra money, whatever they wanna do. So um, I'm gonna show you basically the first step is just to get three circles. And um, during the struggle is real, yes, flowers can be tricky. Um, I've done some flowers where I'm like, crap, that turned out bad. But really, it's a matter of just getting some, some color, whatever color you want your flower. And I'm basically doing like, just almost like a, um, a comma or a parentheses, right? And um, so, hey guys, thank y'all for joining. So I'm just kind of doing like a comma or parentheses and just getting it on there and then just bringing it around. So right now it just looks like three blobs. Oh my gosh, Linda, I just said blobs the same time I saw your comment say blobs. That is so funny. Um, yeah, so really it is about making blobs. Um, a lot of times, and let me show y'all, Sue White, she is an awesome artist too. Um, she, did this in Paint Party Headquarters, and I did kind of a little bit of my version too, kind of used her steps, and when you're looking at them up close, they do look like blobs, but whenever you look at it further away, which I think the wording's backwards, it's just awesome, you know? So I'm actually gonna use some of this palette knife stuff that um, Sue White, that she has a studio called Brushes and Beyond, um, that she uses and kind of just how we're gonna scrape into here. And palette knives are so much fun. Oh my gosh, put in the comments if you have used a palette knife. If you have, I would love to, um, to know if you use it and if you like it. 
So as I got the base down, now I'm just gonna dip my messy brush into some pure white. And all I'm gonna do now is take this pure white and just do some more little comma looking things. Nothing major, guys, little commas. And Brandy is the one that um, came up with this like design color thing. Um, and her studio, if you wanna check her out, is Free Spirit Art Studio. And um, I just adored this little owl. And I was like, Brandy, is it okay if we, we paint this? So, um, so yeah, so she's awesome. Okay, so let's see here. Yeah, you have done them. Good. Yeah, if you've never done flowers, I highly recommend it. It's really, really fun. And then I can take the bright pink if I want and add in. And I can also, another little trick, is to switch your brush size, okay? So maybe I switch to a smaller brush and I just kind of kind of add it on there. I need to get that pink back out. Let me tell y'all which pink I'm using. Um, it is, this one is Liquitex. I'm mixing it with some Deco Art Paint, but this is a fluorescent, fluorescent one. So I'm just gonna put it on my fun, messy palette. And then I'm just gonna take it and again, just little bits. So when you do this, it's so, sometimes we get frustrated, we think, oh my gosh, it's not turning out. So when you're looking at this up close, it looks like a mess, doesn't it? It's kind of a disaster, but it's not done yet. That's the thing about painting is I can let this dry, I can paint right on top of it, I can still add stuff to it, and I'm gonna show y'all in a minute how I can make this owl look like it's alive in just a couple of strokes of paint. Do y'all wanna see that? Do y'all wanna see the owl come alive? <laughs> it's alive, it's alive. I'm really close to the screen today. I'm glad I did makeup. <laughs> um, my daughter, Pixie, she loves makeup. Like so, oh, I gotta tell y'all a funny story about a casino. She loves makeup, and um, and she's always telling me I'm doing my makeup wrong. And I'm like, because she watches a ton of YouTube. You know, these kids and these YouTube makeup people, man, she has learned so much. And so um, it's funny because I'm like, okay, she'll do some stuff to me. And I'm like, oh, not that. Because <laughs> I'm just, I'm not risky with my makeup. Um, okay, so this is a funny story while I am. Um, hey, Brandy, I was just talking about you and your Free Spirit Art Studio. Thank you for sharing this painting, by the way. Um, Brandy just got on there if y'all wanna go show her some love. Um, okay, so um, these flowers, and again, I'm gonna kinda do the technique too that um, Sue does on hers, and Sue is Brushes and Beyond. Um, I'm gonna do the technique on this one as well. And I'm gonna use some palette going forward with it too. But okay, so while I'm adding this on here, I wanna tell y'all a funny um, a funny story about Pixie in the casino. So we went to Turner Falls, which y'all might've saw a couple of the pictures. Um, and I'm gonna show y'all too, I'm gonna do this while I'm telling the story about the casino. Do y'all wanna hear the story about the casino? It's kinda funny. Okay, so I just put some black on here and I'm just scraping. And the reason I'm scraping is I just don't want it boring. And I can use gold. I'm just kind of like pushing, I'm not pushing all the way down, um, but I am pushing a little bit so I can scrape it on there. And I can also get like a border as well. And guys, these are so much fun. Oh my gosh, so much fun to um, use. And if you just like play with it, I mean, just the texture, and I'm gonna put some gold on it too. I might not have time to do it. I have a paint party in just a couple hours. So um, we have an early paint party, it's at three o'clock, so I have to be there early to set up. Um, so I, I might not be able to do the whole thing in front of y'all, but I'll for sure post the pictures after. But this is just fun to kind of like lightly get it on there. And then it just makes everything a little bit more interesting. Um, just a little bit more interesting like that if you want. And then I'm gonna make the owl kind of come to life. But I'm still not done with the flowers. So I'm gonna take a little bit of green. Sorry, I have a timer going. Get ready for the paint party. Like 
if those of you out there teaching paint parties, if you ever have a paint party, like I packed, my my vehicle has, is packed, so that's good. And um, I'm ready, I'm dressed and ready, but I still need to obviously be there to set up. So those of you that ever have paint parties and it's at a different time than normal, I'm just getting paint from my paint wall, if you're wondering where I'm at. Um, if it's at a different time than normal, always set an alarm. So it might go off here. And don't do this. This is bad. I always do that, and I know it's really bad for my teeth. Okay, so I'm going to add some. I'm going to take a couple of greens. I am using, and guys, if y'all don't mind, tell me if you already teach paint parties. Um, I'd love to know who is a paint party person or who's just having some fun painting. Let me know. Because again, my name's Heidi Easley and I teach women all over how to make money teaching paint parties. That's what I live, eat, breathe, sleep. It's my favorite thing in the world. Favorite. So, um, so on Robin, she kind of just did some little things coming out. Um, hers obviously look a little prettier than mine. I'm just going to I just like to have fun with it and just, I mean, not that she didn't have fun. She had a blast. Hers was beautiful, but I think I'm not as, I'm not, I don't know if she's a perfectionist. I'm not a perfectionist. <laughs> so I just kind of go for it. And sometimes, um, sometimes that can help me. Sometimes that can hurt me. Um, but I know I can always paint over it. So I don't, I don't mind because if I don't like the way something's turning out, I can paint over it. Do y'all hear blue? Okay, I know I gotta tell the the thing. Okay, so there's the blue, the darker green. You want three different greens on your leaves, and um, this is a traditions, just because you want, like you'll be able to see, see how you can barely see it? But if I go in, now I can see it a lot. Do you see the difference? And then I can go over it again with a lighter green. So while I'm adding these leaves, Here's what happened at the casino, okay? So we went to Turner Falls and then on the way through, like we passed right by Windstar and we were on our way home. You know, we just drove up for the day and drove home, like did a little road trip for spring break and um, hiked up the waterfall. It was awesome, y'all. And then, and we're gonna go back in the summer because that water is so pretty and I just wanted to jump in, but of course it was too cold. Um, so we're driving back and Bobby's like, and again, guys, this is just blobs. Yeah, I know, I need to not use my teeth. Definitely, Brandy says, definitely not a perfectionist. I am not either, girl. I can't take, I can't do it, I can't. My husband's a perfectionist, so it's a little, um, it's a little hard living together sometimes. <laughs> anyway, my husband goes, he goes, do you think we should um, take Pixie in to see the casino? You know, because it has all the themes. I mean, you're like in Rome, you're in New York City, you're in, I mean, it's, you know, casinos, they're all decked out. And so Pixie's very, very, let's say we have her in a bubble. Like, I'm not going to lie. We have her in a pretty, pretty tight bubble. And, um, and so, so much so that um, we were at a friend of ours. And she, her friend's 14 and Pixie's about to be 13 and they were wanting to watch Dirty Dancing. And um, I was like, well, I think it's, I think it's about okay. I mean, I haven't watched Dirty Dancing in a while, but um, we started it and I was, I mean, she was covering her head and I was like, yeah, it's not, we're not ready for that yet. Like she's in a bubble, right? So, um, so anyway, we um, stopped at the casino and I was like, I was like, well, I'll teach her a lesson. Like, I'm gonna, you know, get $20 cash out and I'll show her how fast it goes, right? Because, you know, I love gambling. Like, so much that I know I can only go like once a year because, and I spend like $40 because I just, I just would love to like, you know, be like, here's a grand. You know, I could see where I could totally get addicted. So anyway, so we're like, oh, well, we'll show her, you know, around the world. She'll feel like she's been everywhere on spring break. And we'll show her how fast you lose money and then we'll leave, right? Oh no, not this pixie. The girl that's totally sheltered that I thought would kind of freak out being in there with everybody, you know, smoking and just, you know, the environment's a little different. She was like, this is awesome. Can I get a job here? And then, <laughs> and then I showed her. So I think our casino thing backfired on us a little. And then she goes, um, she goes, 
I did the, I put in some money and I had a 20 and then it popped out my little ticket and it said I had like $4 and something left. And I said, see how fast it goes? And she goes, that was awesome. And I was like, oh crap, like it totally backfired on us. And so we said we were gonna go back to Turner Falls this summer. And the first thing she said was, can we stop at the casino? It's bad, right? Parenting 101. I know, y'all are all judging me right now, aren't you? I can sense it! I can sense it! <laughs> I can sense it! So I told her we can go twice a year when she's 18 <laughs> and only twice a year. Like she's only, I said, if you just go twice a year, it won't be a big deal. But you have to have a, a minimum like a, or a limit of what you're gonna spend and you cannot spend more than that because um, as we're walking around, Daddy said, well, Bobby, said daddy and <laughs> uh, Bobby said um Bobby goes yeah but she asked for more and um we're walking around all of the thing I mean the casino is huge right so we're walking around all of it and I'm like can we get 20 more out like that <laughs> and um and Bobby goes see I told you pixie and I was like see pixie it's you know you could be addicted to it you could be addicted so yeah hopefully y'all aren't judging me too harsh but we did take our 12 year old daughter through a casino. There were other kids there. I'm not gonna, I was not the only one, was not the only parent. Um, so anyway, so she is very excited about going back to the casino. I feel so much judgment. Will y'all give a heart or a like if y'all still are okay with me? Don't judge, it was just a parenting fail. A parenting fail, y'all, we all have them, right? Don't we all have them? Um, so yeah, that was a, a we, that one kind of backfired on us. So, there's that. There's that. When did y'all do spring break? Huh? Okay, good. I feel a little less stretched now. <laughs> okay, so I'm just kind of adding in some stuff here um, and just kind of making it like, you know, just kind of whimsical. And um, you could also kind of add in some turquoise to the background. And then I'm going to make these eyes come alive. And um, of course, I want to add some more stuff on here. But I'll show you how easy it is to um, make something kind of come to life, okay? So let me find, you wanna find a little smaller round brush, and then all you're gonna do, like I'm looking at Brandy's, and she did a really good job of just adding like a dot and a dot, and a lot of times, guys, you can just use the back of the brush, like this, and then just kind of find a placement, and just put, just kind of circle it. Can y'all see that? Just kind of, Circle it and then find, try to find the same spot on the other side. And then you want to do. Oh, Robin, you have such, um, I think if I live by a casino, I would, I would just do that too. I would just never go because then I would be like, oh, let's stop. And next thing you know, oh, let's stop again. Yeah, I could totally see. Okay, and then I just add a couple of dots below it. So what that does is now it just kind of makes it come to life. And then you can take that same like little round brush and now just kind of add in some more little whites. And then we're also gonna add in a little black to these flowers. Okay, there we go. And then I'm gonna add a little black to these. Here's my alarm to make sure I don't miss my paint party. So any of y'all that um, are thinking about teaching paint parties, um, you can check out my website if you want. I have a couple of free things on there that you can get. Um, it's just texasartandsoul.com. So feel free to go on there and um, you can read some of my crazy family stories if you think the casino one was a little, a little off. Um, you can, you might see some others. I don't know. People either love us or they hate us. I don't know. So here we go. I'm just adding a little bit of black. Maybe I should have kept the casino story to myself. Maybe. I mean, sometimes I overshare. Did y'all ever overshare? Yeah. I overshare. Okay, so I'm gonna take some gold and add a little bit to the background and then um, 
Obviously, it still needs some little touch-ups, but I'm going to show y'all how to do that with a thing, with a, um, what you call it. Okay, so Posca pens makes the job a lot easier. Just make sure the paint is dry. Um, awesome. So do you do all your whites and blacks with Posca pens? Okay, so I'm just taking some gold and just scraping it on here just for fun because I'm kind of obsessed with gold. So I'm adding it on here just with a palette knife. And then I can add some to the guy as well. And then um, like Linda or Brandy was saying, and my picture doesn't show it well, but I added glitter to the flowers and wings. Yes, always add glitter. I love that. And yeah, it's hard to see in pictures, but always add glitter um, anytime you can. And if you're teaching a paint party, always bring glitter. So you can just bring in some little, and I, and I think, um, Right here is what she's talking about with using her Posca pens. If you don't have any, if you go to Texas Art and Soul, um, under the must-have supplies, it will give you a link directly to the Posca pens. Um, so yeah, you can check that out there too. Okay, so it's just a matter now of just kind of adding fun white highlights, just kind of having fun with it. And then you could make this into a door hanger. Yeah, it's a glitter glue. I use... See if I have one here. I use a Deco Art. Um, it's a clear one, and um, I'll find it and then post a picture below so y'all can see it. It's awesome. It's really, it's really great. And what I've noticed is that people at the paint parties absolutely love them. Um, so it's really, really great to have if you're teaching paint parties. Make sure you have that. Okay, so I'm just gonna take a little bit of black with a flat brush like that, and then just kind of trace it. So the other thing I love about teaching owls at paint parties is everybody goes with different colors. And so it just, It just makes it really, really fun to see the end result because there's so much excitement at the end. Um, white on the wings, we're done with the dry brush technique. I love the dry brush technique. Yes, that is so awesome too. I do that a lot with some of the wood projects. Um, so yeah, canvas is so much fun too. It's like I get silent when I go to do that part. It's like, so. So relaxing. Okay, and this little girl needs a few more little touches, and then I will um, show y'all the final result after I finish it all. I'm gonna add a few more little details. Um, but anyway, I hope that y'all, um, anybody out there needing um, help with teaching paint parties, I have a few resources on my website. Um, texasartandsoul.com so you can check it out and get some free gifts and um yeah let me know if you like this put it in the comments if you like doing stuff like this and um, just let me know anyway i hope it was it was a great little tutorial for y'all and please don't judge the casino it was a mom fail i understand i understand bye guys